nagtubo lang to. Kunin natin yung mga hilaw na tomato. Yan, ang dami, oh. Dami nila. Kasi gagawa tayo ng tomato pickle. Ay, ano ba yan? Hmm. Manguha tayo. Uy, dami na nating nakuhang tomato. Ayan. Ah, look at that. Gagawa tayo ng tomato pickles. Okay, I have broccoli, capsicum, zucchini, tomato, and onion. So, all the spices is not here yet. This is what I need for pickles. Put on a cup of salt. A cup of salt? That's good luck. Mm. That's more than a cup. And then you cover it with water. With water. So it's five liters of water. I just cover it. I just cover it so all the salt is just in the water. And just a big jug like that. So this is just, I mean, just big enough for it. Okay. You so. put a lid, lid on it and do it overnight, but actually, only you can do it for four hours. So we're going to soak this for 4 hours. Okay. We'll see the next. So you bring it up to the boil and let it simmer for 10 minutes. So you get 3 cups of vinegar, 750 mils of vinegar because we're doing a double batch. And then there's a whole pile of ingredients that we'll add into a little bit more vinegar. This one need to boil first and remove the water yes the water. after yeah, then we'll put it all together and put vinegar in it and it'll be right okay. we'll let it simmer now for 10 minutes oh looks good look at that it's colorful yeah. now i need curry powder turmeric Cayenne. We need more corn flour. And this is um, mustard. mustard. And you need corn flour. And corn flour. No, that yes. not. Um, no, now this is our plain flour. Okay, so this is an extra half a cup of vinegar, which we're going to put six tablespoons of flour in. And we're going to put <gasps> my 
mustard. Four teaspoons of mustard powder. Now I'm naughty, I have them a bit high, but I don't care. I'll actually probably put a bit more mustard powder once I've cooked it. Two teaspoons of curry powder. Now this one isn't a hot one, so if you want your pickles a bit hotter, you get a bit of hot and put with it. And then you have a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, so that gives you a bit of your heat. Four teaspoons of turmeric. Again, I like I like them nice and heaped. And that's it. Now you mix that up, and once you've cooked everything in the vinegar, then you come back and put that in and stir it and stir it constantly until it thickens. That's it. Dear, dear, dear. A little bit more vinegar in it. I'll pinch a little bit from the other. So that's not so I put, water. I put a little bit more powder in than what you're supposed to have. So I like my pickles a bit thicker, not too runny, not like store bought pickles. That's it, that's your, what you pour in at the end to um, make it thick. So that's about a cup of vinegar now because I put extra um, flour in to make it thicker. And that's it, done. Remove my right arm, please. Remove the water. We don't need the water. Now the longest thing that takes to cook in this is the onion, so as long as your onion's cooked, your zucchini and all of that should be fine as well. The water is gone and we put everything there. And just one. Now you add the vinegar to the vegetables. Should just come um, just over the top, or just you know, the top of the vegetable should be. Just see the vinegar. In. You cook that now. I see. For three minutes. Yeah. Okay, so now it's boiling. I'll get you. Concoction. <laughs> oh, don't put your face over it too much. <coughs> Vinegar is yeah, pretty wild. Put it in the vegetable juice. Yeah. Oh, I don't Oh, definitely don't put your face over the top of it. I thought it took it for three minutes to cook that flour in it. And it keeps stirring. And I just keep tasting it until I get it to what I want. So if I want a bit more heat in it, put a bit more cayenne pepper in it. If I want a bit more mustardy, you put a bit more mustard in it, etc. If you want a bit more liquid in it, put a little bit more liquid in it, so that's what you want. I put six tablespoons of flour in. I probably should have only put the four like it said. It's gone a little bit thicker than I, the last time I made it. Last time the vegetables must have been a bit moister or something. I'm just going to put a little bit more liquid in it, number one, to wash the bowl out. So this is just the juice that came out of the 
and veggies. I like it a bit more soup than so it's not you're not just putting vegetables on your piece of toast or on your whatever you're eating. You were supposed to be put in with the vegetables, it was on the wrong side of the page and I didn't read it, so now I've got to melt the sugar through it. Two cups of sugar. Actually it's four cups of sugar. Supposed to be in with the vegetables. Oh, I just didn't turn the page. Oh. Anyway, you've got three minutes here still to do this, so it'll it'll go in now. It looks better. Colour and everything's looking better now. now. It's looking a lot better. Without the sugar, it's very very salty. Is like, um, sweet you've and got sour. to have sweet in it as well. You can put pear in it, like four pears in it. I, when I make a single mixture, I put um, tinned mango in it. Mango is very nice in it. You can get some fresh ones. You can put four fresh mangoes in it. Um, you can put apple in it if you want to. Um, but as you can see, doing it on a wok, you just keep scooping it, and it's easier than doing it in a flat pan, which can burn it if you don't have it on the right temperature. We'll do another little taste test. <sighs> wow, that's that's got some kick in it. Woo! I bought a better quality mustard. The better quality ingredients you buy, the better it all tastes. Oh boy, that's got some kick in it. That's nice. So if you make it, I hope you have fun and enjoy it. But um, we have a lot of fun cooking. We have five bottles. Done.